talking about the weird movie Archons. Now this is by a writer-director whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce because it is really long and clearly uh, from a different country. So there you go. Uh, but this tells a story of f three musicians as they are going in the wilderness, going for somewhat of a camping trip in, in hope of inspiring new music. Along the way they want to take lots of drugs and kind of Free their minds, so to speak. Along the way, they kind of meet a group of girls, and one of these girls decide they're going to tag along with this kind of this these three group uh, band members. So the four of them go deeper into the woods, and they encounter some type of beings. And taking lots of drugs, they're not quite sure if what they're seeing is real, but there seem to be maybe some sort of presence which is taking an interest to them. And what that is. Well, you just have to watch the movie to find out. So let's discuss. Um, so this is a very slow film, so that's not going to be for everyone's tastes. I do feel this movie's main um, plus, you know, in the plus column, is some great mood setting. And I think part of that, I have to give a shout out to the sound design here. Because I feel the sound design is exceptional in this movie. The quietness of the kind of the woods, you know, then we have these kind of like things moving around. So making you rustling, you're not quite sure what it is, where it's coming from. Certainly the, the, the sounds that, that our creatures make, they kind of have this kind of weird alien-like kind of dialect that, that sounds really creepy, but it does sound like they're kind of communicating. I thought it was very well handled. And I think that goes a long way in kind of upping the kind of the chill factor here, because you can hear these things communicating. Uh, visually, they're not all that interesting, but we'll come on to that. But certainly, they, they sound kind of uh, pretty freaky, and I think that, that they do a good job it, it really kind of selling us that. I've got to say, I thought the actors did a great job here, um, and I thought they're somewhat layered characters. They, they, they tend to be... There's no, like, really kind of, like, you know, protagonist, good guy. There's no one that's kind of, like, really despicable. They seem all to be, you know, have layers with them, and it's been and somewhat realistic, um... You know, in their kind of like their different distinct personalities, which I thought was pretty good. The uh, there are some some subtle effects that I think work. There's a scene, for example, where we have a creature emerging from someone's cranium, and I thought that was handled pretty well, very violently. It's very quick, um, but I think it was it, it really kind of emphasised the violence that will take place and that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, the, you know, the movie has this kind of like this mystery. It drops a few hints. We're going to come on to that again with maybe some of the negatives. Uh, and it, it gives you an idea about maybe what you can expect. Um, but this movie leaves a lot up to the viewer, which leads me on to the negatives. It leaves a lot up to the viewer, uh, I feel, this film. Uh, so the movie, the majority of the runtime here, you'll find there's not a lot happening in regards to plot development. These guys will go to different campsites. They will have some type of strange kind of like feeling that something's out there. Maybe things will start moving around. They'll start to see things and the more drugs they take, they question whether it's real or whether they're just taking the kind of the, you know, they're seeing things due to these drugs and stuff like that. And uh, it goes, goes on for, for that for a while until we kind of get to the end, which, you know, has a, somewhat of a twist, somewhat of a reveal. But I don't think it's particularly handled pretty in all that well, to be honest. I think the uh, the end seems a little convoluted, in my opinion, and I, and I don't feel it would make sense to some people. Um, so I feel it, it could have done a better job kind of setting up where it was going, uh, because I don't feel it was particularly good like that. The creatures themselves, um, like I like the sound of them, but to be honest, there are scenes where we see them walking around and... They kind of just look like blokes with attachments on them. I've got to be honest. There are some scenes where I think they look okay, but there's a couple of scenes, especially that we see in in, in better light, and that's where it kind of falls down a little, loses some of the the kind of like the alien appeal, so to speak. 
And like I've said, the movie is a very slow burn with, I, I don't think, a not, a not a lot of payoff. So I feel it may be um, not to a lot of people's tastes. I do feel there's, you know, it does a good job of having some great atmosphere. I love the sound design in this movie. It's one of the best things, I think, in it. And I thought the, the, the acting and the character work was good, but the narrative structure around it, I felt, needed, needed some work done. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one a 5 out of 10. It's not something I'd really ever want to watch again. Um, but it wasn't a terrible one. I, you know, it, it was okay. Uh, and I enjoyed aspects of it. 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.